Okay, so this is the Roland DJ505. It's a new controller for Serato DJ. It's uh, Serato DJ enabled, which means you just download Serato DJ, plug in and go. It's all licensed for you. It also comes with a toolkit license in the box. So that means it has all of our effects packs, pitch in time and flip to take advantage of all the features that the 505 gives you. It's a pretty special controller. It has the sequencer across the top and the TR8 sounds built in, which th that means it's got the legendary 808 sounds, which you probably recognize in a lot of music, and the 909 sounds. So let's change kit up here. Oh. You know those? It has, yeah, performance pads, low latency platters, some of the best platters on a controller that I've used, effects control, the classic two channel strip down the middle with trim, EQ, filter, and in the middle you've got your master control, booth, headphone, and then the out output control, the uh, volume control for the TR and the sampler. Auto, loop, auto loops on the side, which I always think are important, having dedicated auto loops separate to the performance pads, so you can cue and loop at the same time. Uh, loop shift, manual loops in and out, and the parameter buttons to control the, uh, the performance pads in different modes. Now I think probably the, the thing that uh, is special about this, it, I should talk the most about, is the sequencer and the 808, the TR8. So let's go over to the sequencer and I'll show you how to put something basic together. So let's find the sound. So I'm gonna click on instrument. I'm gonna choose the instrument I'm gonna start with. So that's flashing CH, closed hat. I'm gonna go back to the sequencer mode, pause it for a minute, I'm gonna paint in some hi-hats. I'm just going to change the kit to the 808 kit. Hold on. That's better. That's my favorite. All right, now I'm going to add maybe a snare. So I'm going to go to instrument. I'm going to choose the snare SD. Put it on the, that one. Now let's go for a kick. Instrument again, kick. All right, got a basic pattern set up. So I can sync that now to Serato DJ. I can play a song on deck and yeah, run those drums alongside anything I wanna do. We'll go over to pattern and I'm actually playing pattern one. Now I can go to pattern two and put in a new pattern. So let's go pattern two. You can hear it's silent. So do the same again, instrument, closed hat. Right, and I can actually play those two patterns together. So I go back to pattern and just press those two. And now they're gonna play like one after the other. Now I might just add a couple more 808 sounds. So I'm gonna add maybe the hand clap. So I'm gonna go instrument, hand clap, and then. Now these controls on the right, whatever I have selected, I can actually control that, that particular thing. So I don't like that clap, it's a little bit too, um, there's a long decay on it, I'm gonna close the decay up. So I change the tune, now I can edit all the drum sounds or manipulate the drum sounds with these knobs on the right. The next thing I'm gonna do is actually add some of the sounds from the Serato DJ sampler. So let's flick over to the sampler, and I'm gonna put in just some, a different couple of kicks that I've got um, in the sample player. So these eight here, up the top there, those are the 808 sounds or the TR8 sounds. These ones are the Serato sampler sounds. So again, instrument, I'm gonna choose sample slot one. I'm gonna put a kick in one. Oh, that's pretty boring, but um, that's kind of how you program stuff in. Now, if you don't want to actually program things in, you can play it in. So what you do is you go to inst record mode, that shift there. Now, whatever I play on the pads, I'm actually going to sequence in live. So, all right, my snare's on the, the uh, third slot there. And it's just going to play in live. Now, let's find the hi-hat that is, uh, in slot five, so. Hey. 
There you go, made a little pattern, kind of fun. All right, now I'm gonna actually try and sync it up to something on the, um, the Serato DJ uh, deck. So I'm gonna find a little loop over here. I'm gonna make sure that I hit sync. And you can see now, sync up there, sync there. And now I've got a loop on the deck. I'm gonna mix it with. So it's got a loop playing on the turntable. And I got the sequencer in sort of DJ. Um, oh, sorry, the sequencer on the rolling controller linked up to the deck. So yeah, real fun. You can make come up with heaps of good different ideas and just play around. Now, of course, you don't want to just use it for making beats. You want to use it maybe when you're actually DJing. So maybe you want to beef up like an old soul song. Maybe you want to use it to tran transition between mixes. You can do a lot of different things. So let me just try something different. All right, I'm going to get rid of that loop. Okay, let's put some uh, some James Brown over the top of this. Kind of how you might use the sequencer, transition between songs, beef up some old songs, that kind of thing. Now, I mentioned earlier that it also comes with toolkit, so that gives you all the access to the effects I was using before, and also pitch and time. So on this controller, you also have the pitch play mode, which is kind of fun. So I'm gonna press sampler twice, and I'm gonna choose a cue point that I wanna use. And I'm gonna now use the pitch to There you go. So that's kind of how you might want to use the sampler and the sequencer in conjunction with Strata DJ when you're playing. Maybe you want to use it to make ideas for beats. You know, you can actually pretty much make a beat with this if you wanted. I mean, the way I make beats is I usually take something like an 808 sound, I beef it up with some, some more, more modern drums, use a sample, add a bass line, and that's kind of where I get to. So you can actually do a lot of that just with this controller. So it's a Strata DJ controller you can use live to DJ with, and you could also make beats with it at home. So. Very cool, um, it's a lot of fun. You gotta be careful, you don't just sit here noodling for four hours making beats, and then while all the crowd disperses, you know, you gotta actually make sure you keep DJing. Uh, but yeah, a lot of fun and very powerful. There's a lot of other features that I can talk about on the sequencer, but to be honest, we'd be here for a while. Um, there's shuffle mode that sort of adjusts the swing, the scale, so if you wanna um, go to 16, 32 beats, you know, for faster trills and things, a lot, a lot of power. So. Mark's just giving me a, a note here. Okay, it's also DVS upgradable, I forgot about that. So that's why we've got the turntable here. I'll flip over and I'll show you just quickly how to make it DVS upgradable. You do have to um, upgrade. It's a DVS expansion pack that you can buy on Strato, online on strato.com. And once you've purchased that, you go into the setup screen, you tick uh, enable vinyl CDJ control, and then you can actually plug in your turntables and use it with a turntable. So if you don't want to scratch on the platters, we can actually just go over to the turntable, take it out of internal mode. And you've got turntable control. So, you know, it's actually not a bad size for turntable control. It's, um, you know, it's not, not a full size controller. So if you do want to plug in two turntables, you're not too far away from the center of the mixer. And again, if you do want to use turntables, you can sequence up the sequencer to those and have a lot of fun. Uh, all right, what's next, Mark? You holding, oh yeah, MIDI out. Man, there's too much stuff to talk about. So 
MIDI out, we've got a MIDI out, uh, MIDI DIN port on the back, so you can sync, uh, sync it up with you know, your keyboards, NPCs, whatever else takes a MIDI input. So it could just start to form part of your production setup or your live setup. And what else? XLRs, master output. It's got the, uh, yeah, like I said, phono line inputs, um, booth output, the quarter inch jack. Yeah, it's got it all. And it's, um, it's a good price, simple, two channel, four deck. Again, you can layer it much like the 202. Um, really good product, heaps of fun. You know, you can, if you're just getting started wanting to make beats, it's, it's cool just to be able to mess around with. Or maybe you're a seasoned professional with um, producing and DJing that you just want to be able to have those classic 808 sounds on your controller. Yeah, very good, very fun. Like it.